Hi, I'm Ken. We're gonna make brandied chicken liver pate. This is a recipe we're going by. I'm sure you probably have a copy of it or can get one. Uh, the ingredients we'll need, and uh, if, if my portions look a little large, I'm actually making double this recipe. Uh, so our ingredients are a half a stick of unsalted butter, uh, three quarters of a cup of uh, chopped onion, a large garlic clove finely chopped, uh, one pound of chicken livers, uh, salt and pepper, uh, a fourth of a cup of cognac, uh, a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, a pinch of allspice, and a third of a cup of currants. The currants I've already uh, soaked in boiling water for a while, so they've softened up a bit. Uh, the chicken livers I've rinsed, uh, patted dry, and salted and peppered. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, I've melted the butter over medium heat in a, a pretty large saucepan. This is our um, chopped onion. I'll let that saute for a little bit. Chicken livers have been a little difficult for me to find in Anchorage uh, for the last couple of months. Uh, I finally found a supply at uh, New Sagaya. So if you, uh, if you have trouble uh, finding chicken livers at Cars or Fred Meyer um, or wherever, um, uh, maybe try uh, some of the smaller Asian markets. I'm gonna add the garlic. This is uh, one clove that's been, uh, been finely minced. To be honest, it's a couple of little squeezes out of a tube in the refrigerator. Gonna turn the heat down to medium. And let this simmer for about seven minutes. The on onions are soft and uh, turned a nice uh, blonde color. I'm gonna add the chicken livers now. And again, uh, this is a pound of chicken livers that have been washed, uh, rinsed and uh, patted dry and, uh, and then salted and peppered. Still plenty of butter in the pan. That's actually a good thing. The butter, um, uh, when this finishes cooking and uh, goes into the food processor, uh, the butter is uh, part of the vehicle that uh, uh, makes this tighten up and firm up when we uh, put it in crocs and put it in the refrigerator. Turn the heat up a little bit on these. And again, remember, I'm cooking, uh, I'm cooking a double recipe, so you won't need nearly uh, a pan this large. I'm going to cover these now and uh, let them simmer for about 10 minutes uh, till the livers are almost done, and uh, then we'll add the cognac. Our livers have sauteed about 10 minutes now. So I'm going to stir in, uh, stir in the cognac. I guess I could have gotten fancy and flamed that, huh? We'll give that a couple minutes. I should have hit that timer as soon as I poured that uh, cognac in. Uh, but we just want to reduce it down a little bit, uh, evaporate the alcohol, leave a nice flavor behind. So 
So after this cognac cooks down a little bit, um, I'm going to let this cool for, uh, for just a bit so it's easier to handle. Uh, and we'll move along to uh, turning this pan of chicken livers uh, into a, uh, a lovely uh, chicken liver pate. I've got the chicken, uh, chicken livers transferred to uh, the, the dish of my food processor now. I'm gonna add um, the allspice and nutmeg, as well as just a little, little more salt and pepper. And we'll put that on the food processor. I'm guessing that's gonna be a little louder than you're gonna to wanna to hear. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll get it started and come back to you when it's all, uh, all processed and smooth. Okay, the pâté's processed. I've uh, turned it out into a bowl. Um, I'm gonna add now the, the currants I prepared earlier uh, and softened. Uh, these are just uh, red currants, I mean, excuse me, black currants from the uh, um, grocery store next to the raisins. This adds a little touch of sweetness. I'm gonna let this cool a bit and uh, package it up uh, into some ramekins and refrigerate it. I changed it into an apron because I'm pretty, uh, pretty messy sometimes. Let me show you how I package this. It's really pretty easy. Fill the crocs up. The important thing is the very last step. Get that edge cleaned off a little bit. I'm gonna get a paper towel to wipe the edge real quick. And then this is the important part. You, uh, you wanna make sure you, you cover it with plastic wrap and press the plastic wrap right down onto the pate so it doesn't dry out or, or develop a film. So just wrap it like that and, uh, and you should be good. I've even frozen them like that before. Um, I mean, obviously uh, wrapped into uh, a couple layers of plastic uh, and then put in a freezer bag, but uh, uh, the pate thaws just fine. We'll do one more. Real quick. Just wipe the edge so we'll get a seal. And there we go. I'll do the rest of those and uh, try to find a couple of friends to give them to. Enjoy.